Hello YouTube friends and welcome to another episode of RV Destinations Unknown. We are Ryan and Jessica and we Don't are having a fun Monday today and we're bringing you along with us. Yep. We are about to ride the Royal Gorge Railroad and we have the Vista car. We're going to have dinner yep. and drinks and it is a beautiful day. Uh, Oh, this is exciting. I am so excited. I love trains. <laughs> if you watched any of the previous, uh, you know, episodes, anything revolving trains, there it is. We are fisting a board. We're going to get our tickets. And boy, are we excited. Do we go this way? Or do we go this way? I really don't know. We're a little lost. We're going to figure it out, though. Actually, I think we were supposed to park over here. Oh, well. <laughs> Check this out. It's a little uh, restaurant. It's called Happy Happy Ending. Happy Ending Caboose. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, we were supposed to park over here. We parked in the wrong spot. Oh, well. Don't always trust GPS, right? <laughs> hey, we are so excited. If you are new to our channel, make sure to subscribe. If you like our content, give us a thumbs up so that we know that you're liking what we're putting down and recording and we are about to board this train as soon as we get our tickets so check this out we're walking out to the depot we're just gonna get our tickets and boy we are excited let's see tickets are around the corner we're gonna figure this out <laughs> and i know we are because we have you with us all right here we go look at this welcome we're going in and we're going to see you on the train. So how cool is this friends? Here's our train right behind me. We're going to be in one of these type of cars, a Vista car with the, uh, the nice open uh, glass ceiling. We're going to be able to see all the sides we also can walk down to the open car which is going to be great because there's going to be times where we're going to want to see some pictures and that sort of thing but i wanted you to get a view of this train in its entirety you know it's going to be a very long train i don't know if you can see behind me we saw it the other day when we were hiking tunnel drive um I have to say, I am so looking forward to this uh, loop. It's going to be so much fun in my opinion, but check this out. This is probably the closest we're going to get to the engine. Look at there. So it's a diesel powered engine. They just cranked up the, uh, the diesel motor side of it. And then you also have the standard diesel motor in the front. That This is going to be cool. You know, there, this train has a kitchen car, which you can see it's right here behind this Vista car. We're going to be getting lunch on this. I think it's like sandwiches, beer and wine, or beer or wine. Uh, we may partake in both, I don't know. But let me see if I can't hunt down a worker here to give us some history about this place for you guys. I think I see one. Let me, let me see if I can wrangle him up. All right, so just had a chance to talk with Sonny and um, we're just gonna be boarding the train, but it gave me a little bit of history. He also told me that um, during the train ride on one of the open cars, they're actually gonna go through a history of this uh, train. So we're gonna make sure to try to catch that, but it's a 12 mile hike up uh, to Parksdale and at 12 miles an hour. So it's a nice little coast. Um, you know, we're gonna get to see all the scenery down through the Royal Gorge. And then once we get to Parkdale, we actually will just coast back as it's gonna be a downward grade. And again, it'll be maintained at 12 miles an hour. So that's pretty cool. You know, you, you pull the train up uh, to Parkdale and then you coast all the way back down. And uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to that. So we're just gonna be boarding. So I'm gonna find my wife. She's yes, here somewhere. Here she is. And yeah, we'll see you on the train. All right, check this out. So we are just now boarding the train. Look how cool this is. I'm gonna swing it around here. Check this out. All right, you find our seats, okay? Keep going straight. We are 907, so yeah, it looks like we're gonna be up here near the front. 
look at this so i mean this is absolutely first class i think we passed it did we 908 904 pretty sure we passed it <laughs> is it right there well, I asked them where 907. 907. 907. Right over there. <laughs> They're not in order or anything. <laughs> Look at this. All right, so we have our seat. We are so excited. Look out the window. I mean, this is going to be an absolute panoramic view. Check this out. Our conductor is here. He's going to stamp our fingers. Here we go. We are official. Hello friends, so we are heading out onto the gondola. I want to show you guys the outside. Now I got to maintain my balance here, but check this out. How cool is this? Yeah, look at there. So, you know, the amazing experience here being outside, it is absolutely beautiful. This is um, something, if you're gonna be in Canyon City, this is an activity that you're going to want to experience and see for yourself because it does not disappoint. Um, the views are amazing. We've seen some, some longhorn sheep, you know, out on the mountainside. I'm gonna try to get some pictures of those for you. Um, it is a little windy, so hopefully I can hang on to my hat. But as I mentioned, one of the cool things, you know, we are heading back to the depot and we're actually coasting. Um, so they're just using the brakes, which you can hear behind me, uh, to maintain the coast, uh, the coasting speed. So the engines are not running right now, so which makes for kind of a quieter experience, I suppose. Um, but yeah, let's let's check this out. Let's get some pictures and let's uh, let's see what's all about, shall we? Outside on the gondola, it's a little loud with the breakings, but hey, that's okay. We're enjoying it. Jesse's here to hold my hat in case it flies off. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually going to um, be taking some pictures along this journey. And it's beautiful, you guys yeah. should come do it. It is worth the experience. We just had some lunch. Yeah, it was very good. I will say the meals here okay. were um, surprisingly good. You know, it uh, the menu is is pricey, but you can do the thirty dollar. Um, 
dining plan if you get one of the uh, Vista cars. Um, for that, like I mentioned, when we got on the train, you get a beer or a wine. You do not get a specialty drink, although they do have those. And you also do not get um, dessert, but they do have dessert as well. Those are extra charges, um, not included. We got burgers and uh, wine. Absolutely great. They actually have their own wine um, here on the Royal Gorge Rail. And that is, yeah, or yeah, their own beer. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not an IPA. It's not a. Um, it's not a lager. It's somewhere in between. It's their own I mix. Hear it's good. We didn't have that, but the people that we were sitting right beside. Uh, yeah. They had got that. They enjoyed it. So. Absolutely. Now, here's something that I will say that was not advertised to us, but we're gonna tell you because yeah, we're that kind of people. We want you to be in the know. Uh -huh. If you get a Vista class, you know, one of the dining cars, you are going to be sitting um, with a random stranger. It is a meet and greet car. You're going to be with um, people that you may not know. Which is okay because we yeah. enjoy meeting people as part of the RV life experience. Absolutely. But if you're more like a private person and just want your own space, yeah, it was it was unexpected for us, but hey, we we dealt with it and we enjoyed every minute of it. So just want to throw that out there, just so that you're aware. So like I mentioned, I'm actually going to swap over and start getting some pictures of this to throw in the link. Hey, if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe. If you're liking the content, do give us a thumbs up. It really helps out. And also leave us some comments in the box below. We want to hear from you. So with that, here's some pictures. Hey friends, so we have stopped on the um, on the train so that they could do a little free advertisement to the Royal Gorge Bridge people. Uh, they're up there way up in the sky. I'll, I'll throw some pictures in because you probably can't see them here. But right now they're giving us some history about the train, about Theodore Roosevelt uh, standing in this exact spot where we are um, at the inauguration of the opening of the railroad. Um, how cool is this, you know? It's a nice sunny day out here. It's very windy. Do not wear hats if you plan on standing on the gondola. Jesse's holding my hat and hitting me in the face with it. But yeah, do not wear hats because it is very windy. You're probably going to lose it. Um, but the views are amazing. We've seen some longhorn sheep out here. We got some pictures of those. And now we're, we're listening to them give us some history about it. One thing I will say, if you're out here um, and you want to learn the history, find one of the train workers and basically just stay with them, stay in their back pocket. They walk around on the gondola and they talk, they give history, but there is no speakers, there are no microphones. Plus with the um, wind. Yeah, plus of the wind and the braking noise, you really can't hear much of what they're saying. So if you want to know the history, stay with one of these guys and don't leave their side. Um, I'm here for you though, so I'm getting pictures and trying to film for you. Hopefully we'll get moving here soon so that we can see the rest of the adventure. But yeah, check some of these pictures out.
check this out friends so not sure if you're aware of this but you can actually uh, raft and kayak the Arkansas River we just passed some uh, some rafters going down um, it is a gnarly uh, river to raft but yeah it looked like a lot of fun I will say this there are some pretty good rocks there are some pretty good rapids wear a life jacket check it out look at these right behind me here yeah Jesse and I do plan on going uh, kayaking at some point. I'm kind of locked in at kayaking down in Florida. We'll see, maybe Alabama. Um, they have some pretty good rivers to kayak through, but- Gotta watch out for gators. Honestly, it's uh, more of a water temperature situation for us. We don't want to freeze. <laughs> so right behind us is actually Tunnel Drive. Um, if you missed that episode go back and check it out you know that's where we saw uh, the bighorn sheep about eight feet away from us but yeah tunnel drive is right behind us used to you could drive on tunnel drive however they have since shut that down and converted it to a biking and hiking trail um, and decided to keep the name definitely something fun to do if you like mountain biking or uh, trail walking it's definitely something fun to do it Keep was your eyes open though for like rams or mountain lions and all yeah those unique animals yeah it was wide trails but uh, nicely graded you know it's not uh, not strenuous at all hey friends so I found some of the uh, some of the workers here they're going to um, just give us a little bit of history of the uh, train here so when was it established and what can so, you tell us about it so the tracks were laid from the mid 1870s to about 1880 yeah. and uh, the reason why the tracks were laid is because they found silver up in lead there you go well they both wanted the railroad different railroads wanted the commerce off of it so they uh, it all ended up in court, but they had a battle down through here between the Atchison, the Pica, Santa Fe, and the Rio Grande. And there's gun emplacements up here in the canyon, still visible today. We point them out. There are also colored pictures of them in the gift shop. There we go. Where they sell books on them available. Now, the Santa Fe Railroad hired Bat Masterson to come in to oh, regulate. Yeah. Well, when the Rio Grande heard about that, they hired old Doc Holliday to yeah. come in. So Doc Holliday came on in, and the... Santa Fe approached Doc Holiday with a little bit better offer to leave, so he took both paychecks and left. <laughs> there you go. There was never a Bat Masters and Doc Holiday showdown. <laughs> if because yeah. Doc Holiday ain't dumb. Yeah. He gets the money and goes. It, Actually, this car, I rode this car back in about 1998 when it was all silver. Had one open car. Wow. And they had a, a styrofoam cooler with pops and iced teas and bottled <laughs> water and, some, and a glass case with croissants <laughs> and uh, donuts in it. Really? Come a long way since 98. <laughs> oh, really? I That's would say so. Yeah. We had wine and stuff today. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> they got gourmet food. They have yeah. a murder mystery on a late run. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Didn't it's know the, that. It's the train to run. Right. They have an Oktoberfest beer run. They have yeah. a wine run. They there you have, go. Yeah. They have Santa. Hey, there you Santa. go. <laughs> Santa runs between. And I got to say, this is this is my favorite job. I love it. That is awesome. That is awesome. Hey, thank you guys thank for you. taking some time talking to our fans. You know, what we try to do here is encourage people to come out and see these attractions. Yeah. Yeah. You know, come out, spend your money on riding this train, get the experience, build some memories. So yeah. we appreciate it. Come Ride the out. Santa Express. There you go. The 18th <laughs> to December the 31st. There you go. Come Absolutely. <laughs> hey, thank you all. So hopefully you found that um, educating. Um, if you weren't sure of the uh, references to Bat Masterson and Doc Holliday, they're referencing Tombstone. You know, go back, check that movie out, uh, Wyatt Earp, that sort of thing. Some of you may be too young to even know who they are, so I'll, I'll include a picture of them right here uh, so that you can see who they are. But um, yeah, we're very appreciative of Sony and uh, Bob. That was their names. They're the show conductors here. Uh, Sonny actually does the uh, Santa. Yep. yep. Um, in the winter season. 
and you can see some of the pictures here um, in just a minute of kind of the North Pole if you will um, during the winter time they have thousands of lights and they do you know a show with Santa's one of the cool things they have multiple gondolas and multiple Santa's so if you do have kids and you're bringing them out um, they're not gonna see different Santa's it'll be kind of an experience for them with just one Santa so I think that's very cool the way that they do that they want it to be an experience you know this train has been in operation for a very long time as you just heard Sonny talk about um, and so yeah come on now we're gonna take some more pictures we're gonna see some more sites and we'll see you back at the depot we're pulling back into the station here um, here pretty soon and so yeah we'll see you back at the depot all right so we hope you enjoyed the outside uh, out on the gondola I wanted to show you some of the other cars we're passing through um, one of the coach cars of course you saw the gondola this is another one of the coach cars um, price wise of the same as the Vista I would highly encourage just go ahead and upgrade to the Vista um, pay the extra $30 and you actually get a meal with beer or wine but hey you know it's what it is whatever you prefer uh, looks like they have some gifts here oh, that's pretty cool and we're fixing to be passing through the kitchen car this is where our food was cooked look at the kitchen thank you guys food was great <laughs> yeah so here's the kitchen cars as you can see they prepare the food right here on the spot you know back at the depot I showed you the kitchen car yeah thank you so um, very cool in that regard and then now we're back to our Vista car which um, you've already seen but I'll keep the camera rolling just for you don't tell anybody else <laughs> And I think we are upstairs, yep, yep. which is nice. You know, the unique thing about this, I, t I mentioned this earlier, you don't pick your seats. So we just happen to be on the upper vista level. And that actually worked out really well. As you can see, as you can see around and behind me, you have the full dome experience of the glass. So we will see you back at the depot. So one of the cool things about uh, our lifestyle, if you become a full-time RVer and you launch a YouTube channel, I tell you, you meet people yes. everywhere you go. This is a community. Sonny and Bob, I mean, they were phenomenal people. They're great people. You know, I think it really gives uh, hope back to, you know, there really are decent and nice people out there yeah. that, you know, want to take time. They want to help, uh, help you promote uh, your channel and give you history about the activities and stuff we absolutely enjoyed it we truly hope that you enjoyed the ride along with us with that we're going to pass through the depot and head on out to we our next adventure dessert. we may get some dessert we'll do uh, i don't know we'll see we'll see <laughs> if we do we'll we'll definitely include you there with us break out some ice cream with us have a uh, have a bowl of ice cream with us but our next destination is actually going to be walking across the royal gorge bridge <laughs> that's where we're headed to next so we are so glad to have you along with us and we will see you at our next destination unknown all right so we decided to bring you along with us we are at the happy ending cafe caboose come on in let's check it out so they have coffee it looks like lattes hot chocolates all kinds of fun things they do have a gift shop a little bit of t-shirts and a little a little booth so we did just want to show you this um, you know it's a little it's a little coffee barista very cute I think the next one maybe has ice cream I know I saw it on the sign but we did want to just show it to you yeah fresh espresso fresh food how about that so if you're in Canyon City and you want to ride the Royal Gorge definitely do this um, if you need a little pick-me-up espresso we're gonna head into the gift shop now and pick up our signature mugs and then we'll be on to the Royal Gorge Bridge Oh, we share, we're sharing a table with somebody else? Yep. Oh, I did not realize that. Uh -huh. I thought we'd be at our own table. No. Oh, Lord. Mm. Is that it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, well, I hope they're going to be okay with YouTubing. Huh. We don't have our own table. I did not know that. Uh -huh. There you are. Can you hold this? I'm struggling. Hello friends, welcome back. So as promised, we are here at the Royal Gorge Bridge and Park. We are fixing to head inside and we're gonna take you across the bridge. We want you to see and experience uh, this adventure with us. I have to say, I got some good music going. <laughs> Not sure what's, what that's all about, but let's head on in, see what it's all about, shall we? When did we lose you guys? <laughs> we were recording, what happened? He pushed your button. I don't yep. think I did, but sorry if you missed all that. We'll go back through and I guess redo our whole video because we missed it all. <laughs> Bloopers, cut, act this two. This bridge fun fact was established in 1929. 1929, yep. how about that? All right, let's keep going. I don't know how much of this you're seeing. Our GoPro's acting a little weird today. <laughs> we do have to get some new batteries for this thing. I've had it for so long, the batteries swell when they get hot and these batteries are pretty much shot. So, we are, a thing. we just crossed halfway, across the bridge. Looks like we've got 20 odd more state flags yeah. to go through. But, I will say the other side looks promising. We've got, zip lining? yeah, zip lining. There's a theater theater absolutely a lot of cool stuff i also i don't want to minimize you know the uh the mountain views behind us you know everybody may get caught up in looking at the royal gorge but you get an amazing view of the mountain lines here nevada shout out if you're there nebraska new hampshire jersey. new jersey give us some shout outs if you're from any of those states looks like we got new york new mexico shout out for new mexico north dakota north carolina i know we got some peeps in north carolina you missed north new york you know? no i didn't i didn't miss it shout out to people there yeah no nope, i got it no, oklahoma and ohio yep. i don't know which which of these states should we go visit you know we're full-time rvers give us the name of your state what state do you live in and and what should we do there we've got oregon pennsylvania Rhode Island? South Carolina, Rhode Island. You know, I am just saying this is a bit random. I wonder why they didn't kind of <laughs> go in order, but you know, I don't know. South Dakota. I don't make Tennessee. these decisions. Yeah, we got South Dakota, Tennessee, Utah, and Texas. I figured the Texas flag will be bigger. You know, I don't know. They always say things are bigger in Texas. Going to Utah within the next. Yeah, we'll months. be hitting Utah in August. We've got Vermont and Virginia. Do give us a shout out if you're from any of these states and let us know, hey, what is there to do? You got West Virginia and Washington. I like that flag, that's cute. <laughs> Last two, we've got Wisconsin and Wyoming. That's okay. We've been hearing a lot about Wyoming here lately. Wisconsin? You yeah, Wisconsin? we're definitely gonna have to hit Wyoming. We've been hearing a lot about that. Yeah. So that was it, that was the bridge. Leave us some comments in the box below. Let us know what you thought about it. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe. RV Destinations Unknown and do give us thumbs up if you like the content. We wanna know, hey, is what we're putting out adventurous for you? Do you like it? We're about to walk up a very steep mountain and I am not gonna do that talking, so I'll see you at the top. All right friends, so behind me is the Sky Coaster. You can probably see it right there. Um, today, like I mentioned, it is closed today because of the high winds, the gondola's closed, the zip line's closed, so... Everything's closed. We chose a great day to walk across the bridge, <laughs> but we have you here with us and that's totally fine because honestly it's all we wanted to do. We wanted to walk across the bridge, we wanted to bring you with us, show you what it's all about. But the bridge is not closed. Everything else may be closed, but Absolutely. the bridge is still closed. The I mean, bridge is open 365 days a year according Even to the sign. in the midst of a blizzard. You got Got it. So, all right, friends. So, I think Jesse may be trying to kill me with the climb we just did, but I think it's definitely worth it because we found the overlook and it is stunning. You ready to see it? I know you are. Teaser. Nope, not yet. Getting closer. 
almost. Okay, here it is. Check this out. So I do hear the Royal Gorge train. Um, I don't see it yet, but I did hear it. So it's gonna be passing through here soon. Hopefully we can be on the bridge by the time it passes under because they like to stop and give a long toot of their horn. Choo choo! Toot toot. So <laughs> let's head on back over to the bridge. We're gonna take in the scenery just a little bit, maybe get a few pictures for you. Hey friends, so I have no idea if you can see them or not, but right back there is some longhorn sheep. You know, we, um, we've seen them all throughout Canyon City. I'm telling you, if you wanna see some longhorn sheep, apparently this is the place to do it. Uh, they're looking at us. I guess they enjoy being on camera, I don't know. Maybe they, may, maybe they don't, but uh, yeah, there's two of them laying down, taking a nap. Let's walk around a little bit. Maybe we can get another view of them. Come on. All right, my friends, so we're back on the bridge. Hopefully you enjoyed the longhorn sheep. Goats. We are having an argument. Goats versus sheep. Goats or sheep. I think they're goats. He thinks they're sheep. Maybe leave a comment below if you know what no. a goat looks like or a sheep looks like. It was the other way around, right? <laughs> no, I say it's a goat. You think it's a sheep. It's whatever the Colorado <laughs> mascot is. Bighorn, ram, goat, sheep. I'm not sure. <laughs> It was one of them. Leave us comments in the box below. Save our marriage. Otherwise, one of us probably going over the bridge here if we can't figure out what this is. <laughs> All right, so we're picking back up where we left off. If you're from South Carolina or Rhode Island, let us know, hey, what's there to do? Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania or Oregon. Let us know if you're from those states. Let us know what there is to do. We have Oklahoma and Ohio. If you're from any of those states, give us a shout. Let us know. Hey, come visit your state. What's there to do? North Dakota, North Carolina. I know there's some of you from North Carolina. Hit us up. Let us know. Hey, Ooh. come visit. What's to do? Feel the bridge. Yeah, the bridge is swaying. We got a little sway going on. New Mexico. You know, I'm excited about coming to visit New Mexico, uh, seeing everything there is to do there. New York. Jesse's excited about going shopping in New York. Uh -huh. If there's other things to do in New York, let us know. Evan and Rachel, we're coming to visit you in yep. New York. Matt and Lucas, we're coming to visit you as well. New Hampshire and New Jersey. I'm not going to rag on New Jersey, but I know what everybody says about New Jersey. Hey, if you're from New Jersey and there's some cool things to do there, let us know. Nevada. Nevada. Uh -uh. Nebraska. Come on, what's there to do in either of those states? So we are crossing the middle of the bridge. Hopefully we'll get to see the train. I'm not sure. We heard it earlier. We were having the argument about the goats and the sheep and we may have missed the train because of that. Whoops. I think it was going this way. Oops. I think the train is going this way. Could be wrong, I don't know. But coming up are some more flags. We're gonna walk through, call those out. Hey, we are so glad that you're here with us. If this is an activity that you would love to come and do, let us know. I will say, we just noticed this. This side of the bridge, no wind at all. This side of the bridge, 80 mile an hour wind. It's insane. I don't know what's going on, but I mean, you can see the flags behind me. You know, they're like waving like this. You look at the flags over here and they're doing this. It's insane the wind difference, you know, um, between each side of the bridge. I do want to get a picture of this. Let me swing the camera around. So I think this is pretty cool. You know, it talks about the Royal Gorge Bridge and Park as Jesse walks right through the shot. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> talks about the Royal Gorge Bridge and Park um, established in 1929. I think that's pretty cool to uh, to put on the planks on the wooden planks of the bridge makes it very interesting um, just kind of learn a little bit of the history it would be nice here's a little shout out Royal Gorge Bridge you got this nice little fence on either side maybe put us some type of, of wind banners oh, or something like that part of the experience with a little bit of history of the bridge or put it on the wooden planks you know we want to learn a little bit more about the history of the bridge maybe it's in the visitor center I don't know we kind of rushed through that to be honest with you just imagine though like trying to Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you got a YouTube video out there of them building this bridge in 1929, send it to us. I want to see it. Uh -huh. So we're coming back on our state flags. Give us a shout out if you are from either of these states and leave us some comments in the box below about what to do. So we've got Missouri and Montana. If you're in those states, we want to meet you. Let us know what there is to do there. We got Minnesota and Mississippi. Hello, family in Mississippi. I already know what there is to do there. Um, no, I wasn't born there, but I did kind of grow up there. Uh, Minnesota, though, hit us up. Let us know what there is to do. Michigan and Massachusetts. <laughs> Michigan and Massachusetts. How you say it? Massachusetts. Why can I not talk today? Here, you call it out. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. That's what I said. <laughs> Massachusetts. How you say it? Massachusetts. That's what I said. Massachusetts. <laughs> That's his southern side coming in. Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> she said the same way that I did. It's the wind. You can't hear it. We're going with it. Hey, tell us in the comments below how to pronounce your state name because apparently neither of us know how. Maryland. Maine and Maryland. You know, that's what happens when you grow up in the South, apparently. You you don't know how to pronounce things. Here's my state where I was born, Louisiana. I can't wait to come visit you, Harrison, and my grandmother down there in Kentucky. Louisiana. Kentucky. We are going to hit up Mardi Gras at some point, and we are so excited. Harrison, if you want to come to Mardi Gras with us, come on, brother. Kentucky, what is there to do in Kentucky? We do have some business partners there. We've got Iowa and Kansas. You know, I think this is very fitting for Kansas. You see how much that flag is waving? That's that's our understanding of Kansas. Every time we drive through there, I mean, it's just wind everywhere. But if you're from Kansas and there's some fun things to do, let us know. We've got Illinois and Indiana. Hello, awesome family members. Yeah, Jesse's from Indiana. Hawaii, I have to say, I don't know if we're going to put our RV on a ferry or a boat and go to Hawaii. We should do that. We'll fly there. Or okay. Hel a helicopter could take us. Well, well, that's a long helicopter flight. We're going to fly there. I don't think she understands how far of a flight it is. Idaho, hey, if there's things to do outside of seeing potatoes in I Idaho, let us know. Florida. Florida, we are looking forward to coming visit you. Also, we got to update our uh, state driver's license. I think we're going to choose Florida as our next state. Uh, there's no income tax there. That's really the main reason. But for our mailing service, you know, we're using Good Sam. Florida is the state for that. I think we're going to choose that state. Georgia. Already talked about that. You know, we moved to Colorado uh, a year ago from Georgia. We're not from there, but uh, we spent. I don't know, I spent like 15 years there, 14 years there, or something like that. I don't know. It feels like I spent a decade there or more. Um, but we already know what there is to do there, so Craig and Aaron will come visit you. Don't worry, we're not going to never come back. Connecticut and Delaware. Eddie, hit me up when we get to Delaware, brother. California and Colorado. That should be the very first one. We're in Colorado. Yeah. Why is it in the middle? I gotta figure out who, who put these flags up in what order. Arkansas and Arizona. You know, fun fact, we are over the Arkansas River, if you yes. were not aware of that. And then the last two, Alabama and Alaska. I have to say, Alaska is definitely one of the states that I'm looking forward to going to. 
I actually want to do the Alaskan cruise as well as the Alaskan train ride. Those are the two things that I want to do in Alaska. I've heard they're phenomenal. Hey, if you live in Alaska and you're a full-time RVer, hit us up, let us know some more ideas. Um, the wind is getting insane. So we're gonna head on back to the visitor center. Thank you so much for joining us. We truly enjoyed it. Let's see if we can get some info out of this ranger here. And how are you doing today? doing great we're trying to get a nice youtube video of the bridge for all of our followers but the wind is insane absolutely right that is part of the experience we did see a uh, herd of 16 uh bighorn sheep up there yeah yeah how old are they roughly do you know those are gonna be yearlings and then those mamas are probably Okay, and so those are ones that grow up and have the horns that curl? Well, they won't. The females okay. won't, but the males, the rams will. Okay, so all right. The, the, the little guys, if they grow up and be old, then they'll start to get that curl. Okay, so I think that settles our debate, because we were trying to figure out, like, which are they? What are they? You know, Googling it. Yeah, the, the could figure ones, it out. those are all going to be used. Okay. And then the babies, whatever sex they are. Yeah, gotcha. All right, so... If I they're, they look a little like a goat. See, I'm yeah. not going crazy. <laughs> but come on, friends, who won the debate? <laughs> so yeah, apparently, if they're females, their horns do not curl. If they're males, their horns curl, and that is the state mascot, correct? There we go. All right, hey, thank you so much. Thanks. We appreciated it. <laughs> Have a great one. All right, my friends, so okay, Jesse, lost Jesse owes me a dinner. If you sided yeah. with me, let us know in the comments <laughs> below. You can't next change time, your answers. <laughs> no changing your answers after the fact. But hey, if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe. If you like the content, give us a thumbs up. Let us know, hey, this was awesome. We enjoyed it. Leave us plenty of comments in the box below. Our next adventure tomorrow morning we are heading out to the Great Sand Dunes. From there, we're going to Pagosa Springs, and then from there, down to Cortez and Mesa Verde. We're gonna head back into the Visitor Center, and we'll show you around. All right, friends, so up here in the Visitor Center, you know, we were talking about, hey, where's some history about this place? Well, it's right here. Um, in addition to the theater that is on the other side, they show a history film of the place, but you know, you also get your history right here, which yeah. is pretty cool. And then here's some old uh, views right here. Some old paintings and views, pictures of the sky coaster, of the zip lining, and there's also an amphitheater. Definitely check the, uh, the venue website so that you don't miss anything. As well, there is a awesome restaurant in this place the visitor center is super nice we're going to explore around some definitely going to get a magnet for this place and hey thank you again for joining us we will see you at our next destination unknown So here's a little bit of interesting facts that we wanted to talk about. And again, we are all about promoting Smokey the Bear's message that only you can prevent a wildfire. Apparently in 2013, there was a wildfire that broke out a few miles from the Royal Gorge. Um, and it actually spread due to the heavy winds to the Royal Gorge. And I'm not sure if you can tell in the pictures below, but it absolutely decimated everything except for the Iron Bridge. It burned everything down to the ground. Thankfully, everybody was evacuated, but ground broke in 2014. They rebuilt everything. They made it bigger and better, you know, but here's the message. Be cognizant of starting wildfires, cigarettes, small fires, heavy winds. They do not mix. Practice what Smokey the Bear taught us back in the day. Only you can prevent wildfires. We'll see you at our next destination unknown.